Hello friend and welcome back to another GTA 5 gameplay commentary video here on my channel today. This is I Crazy Teddy, and we're actually back with my weekly Q&A series. The chance where you guys get to ask me questions about GTA 5, YouTube in general, how to grow my personal life and so much more. So as always if you could do me a huge favour and help support this series as it is one that allows me to interact with you guys as a fan. Now as always be sure to leave a thumbs up rating on this video. And if you do have any questions or comments or concerns that you want to leave, maybe even just questions for this Q&A in general, definitely leave a comment below and be sure to use the hashtag AskTeddy when doing so to increase the chances of me actually finding your question and using it in my Q&A. Nevertheless, the questions in this week's episode are actually going to be taken over from Twitter. You know, I'm going to be interchanging and maybe even mixing it up, so I might take some from Twitter and some from YouTube next week, but definitely leave a comment below if you do have any questions. And without further ado, let's get right into this Q&A. First question was asked by Liam and he says, who was your imp inspiration to start YouTube? Of course, you know, no no one really inspired me to do YouTube per se, but I did used to watch a lot of content creators and I found their content really entertaining and I thought, hey, I can do this. So, you know, I used to watch a lot of X Shores, Syndicate. I used to watch Tima occasionally and Woody's Game Attack, but it's mainly Syndicate and X Jaws, a little bit of Chris move here and there as well. They're really great content creators. I also used to watch Vanos Gaming, if you guys, you probably know who he is. He's a really big funny moments guy back in the day, but um, I actually found out about him from my little brother. He used to do like shotgun tips and tricks back in like the MW3 days, Modern Warfare 3, and I used to watch a lot of Vanos Gaming, so I don't really have any inspirations, but there were a couple of YouTubers in particular that I like to watch and whose content I enjoyed and still support up until this day. The next question comes from Spark Live and it says, how did you enjoy the LTS DLC? And I'm going to be honest with this one, the DLC itself wasn't actually the worst DLC. I really, really like the guns, the shotgun and the new sniper rifle. I thought that was really cool. I like the amount of clothes that we got. We got the new helmets and we got the new masks. And if you guys actually want to wear the bulletproof helmet and the mask at the exact same time or any other mask, you know how you see the eagle mask or the raccoon mask and a bulletproof helmet at the same time, I actually posted a really cool funny moments glitch over on my channel that you guys can check out once this video is done and you can try and just have a great time with your mates and all of that sort of crazy shit regardless getting back to the question the dlc was pretty sweet i kind of didn't even get time to play the event playlist which is meant to be like a massive part of the dlc although if you are subscribers of mine you're probably thinking what the hell i thought you were the person that told us about the event playlist or the dlc playlist and yes i somehow managed to find time to actually upload a quick video and letting you guys know about the double rp letting you guys know about the cash earnings and all the crazy bonuses that we had over the weekend competitions great drops million dollar giveaways and so much more but unfortunately due to my own life personal life I had college work and YouTube working on YouTube in general I didn't even get time to play the event playlist if you guys did let me know how good it was down below in the comment section overall the DLC was pretty sweet now we're actually going to be doing what most youtubers don't do we're going to be looking at it from a youtuber standpoint not going to sit here and say that I expected the DLC or wanted the DLC to be coming out on a Thursday because that would be complete fucking horseshit Honestly, everyone thought the DLC was going to be coming out on Tuesday. There's a lot of speculation. Everyone stayed up. And it was the perfect opportunity for Rockstar Games to release a DLC. And I'm talking about from a YouTuber standpoint. So we're not actually judging the contents of the DLC right now. We're talking about how Rockstar Games cooperated with their community on a whole uh, leading up to the release of this DLC. We didn't hear jack shit. All of a sudden, I'm about to leave my house and get ready for, you know, I was ready for college. Ready to actually leave my house. And all of a sudden, there's a freaking DLC out in fact my first DLC video announcing the 1.17 title update went up before Rockstar Games actually officially announced the DLC yes you heard that right I crazy Teddy a Grand Theft Auto 5 youtuber and I'm not even trying to boast and I say this informed a, a th his subscribers that a Grand Theft Auto 5 update was out before the developers of the game could actually announce it themselves I'm not sure what the hell was going on in the Rockstar offices in that day and once again we're not here to judge the content because the DLC was kind of average in my honest opinion I'm not gonna say it was good 
but and then again I'm not gonna say it was the worst DLC so honestly the whole timing situation just really reflect Rockstar Games is how can I put this uh, to put it politely attitude towards the release dates and the times uh, based on the community and of course everyone preferably uh, wanted it to come out on the Tuesday it came out on a Thursday and we were all sitting there like what the hell is going on half of my subscribers sleeping half of them in school I was about to leave for college and I would have been totally screwed from a YouTube standpoint Nevertheless, I spent way too long answering that question, but I just wanted to get everything off my mind. The next question comes from BMS Holden, and he says, Do you think the there will be a Halloween DLC since we already had a DLC this month? Now, the last time Rockstar Games actually skipped a month between DLCs, the month after they actually gave us two DLCs in a row, so two DLCs in one month or rather, uh, between a period of four weeks, which was pretty cool. So two DLCs crammed into a period of four weeks. And honestly, I think it is highly likely that we could get a Halloween DLC. Rockstar Games have meant, uh, mentioned on multiple times over on their news why and done something useful and said that we're actually going to be getting festive DLC. So Halloween definitely celebrated around the world. We can definitely see some sort of downloadable content or at least a minor update is what I would expect from Rockstar Games as this is a massive celebration and it would be pretty cool. Like, a couple DLC ideas uh, for the Halloween that I'm going to save for a future video and uh, a lot of speculation topics and just regarding the Halloween in general looking at other Rockstar games and how it links into how Rockstar games might actually implement a DLC update for Halloween for GTA Online so that's all mystery in itself and you guys will see these videos being pumped out over the next couple of days nevertheless I hope that did answer your question I can definitely see some sort of update coming for the Halloween DLC and one thing just before we move on to the next Next question I would plea Rockstar Games to actually give their fans some sort of announcements to where YouTubers don't have to sit in front of their computer screen, uh, screen sorry, and speculate to their subscribers and say I think it's coming out here. Why not Rockstar Games puts out a newswire telling you guys exactly when the DLC is coming out, cutting all the crap, which means that nobody is going to be, you know, uh, nobody is going to be f thrown under the bus if the DLC doesn't come out. Nobody is going to be feeling bad and all of that sort of crazy shit. So definitely, I hope Rockstar Games, if they do do anything, they'll announce it officially on the newswire at least a week before, telling us the exact date and time of when it's coming out. The next question was asked by Kevin and he says, yo, can you add me on PSN? And then he says, lol. Now, once again, I'm going to be live streaming a lot over the next couple of weeks and months over on YouTube, over on Twitch, which means that I'm going to be able to add you guys on PSN and also on Xbox. But after a certain period of time, I will have to delete you and add fresh people. I hope you do understand. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know how it goes with YouTube live streams and Twitch. I add you, play with you, and then of course delete you, add more people. And then from there, we get a rotation going. And if you're lucky, of course, you do get multiple invites to the game. As long as you're there, you know, present at the actual live stream, you should get a great chance to play with me. Freakintastic says, uh, Freakintastic? Yeah, I believe that's how you pronounce the name. Says, why your thoughts on the new update 1.17? Once again, that does repeat a previous question given from Spark Live. Uh, I can't say it was the worst update, and then I can't say it was the best. Uh, the, the DLC contents in general were kind of good. I like the masks, I like the guns. One thing I didn't like, if, like of course, was the car. It kind of seemed like a copy and paste for me. But apart from that, guys, I'm actually going to cut this video right here. Part 2 of this is actually going to be released once we hit 3,000 likes, so let's go for that mark. We got like 10 more questions ready to go regarding future DLC content, my personal life, and so much more. I'm sweating balls right now, so I'm going to end this commentary, get something to eat, and go to sleep. Wake up next day for college, come back from college, watch some sort of prison break or breaking bad, and then make a video for you guys. So yeah, 3,000 likes for the next video, GTA 5 video here on my channel. Apart from that, my name is Ike Crazy Teddy, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out.